Our enterprise is a part of a large production association in Tomsk, which is engaged in the production of medicines. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP for production, a unit for dehydration of aqueous solutions, and extracts in a fluidized bed apparatus, rotary tablet machines, an automatic line for packaging tablets into plastic film, and foil and other high-tech machines and apparatuses. At the beginning of last year, we received a large order for the supply of antiseptic for surface treatment. We concluded a contract for two years. The antiseptic was to be supplied in a 100 milliliters plastic container. Implementing the order at our company was impossible without the purchase of new equipment. We decided to buy new automatic equipment for bottling and capping. It had to provide automatic feeding and filling of antiseptic into plastic bottles of 100 milliliters. The capper is used to automatically feed bottles and closes the neck of the bottle with rubber stoppers and aluminum caps, as well as screw caps. We plan to use an atomizer with a cap as the capping element. The material of the equipment had to be durable and hard-wearing. In case of production necessity, we plan to repurpose equipment for 500 milliliters bottles with glucose. This criterion had to be considered when purchasing filling and capping equipment. I have been working at our company for 10 years as a chief engineer, and I am used to doing my work with high quality and working only with specialists. I took the choice of a filling machine very seriously. I didn't look for equipment on the internet, because very often a pretty picture hides unprofessionalism. I visited the International Exhibition of Equipment, Raw Materials and Technologies for Pharmaceutical Production, which was held in Moscow. There were many bottling machines on display, companies from all over the world. I chose the three most suitable for my requirements, and took contacts from the representatives. It was necessary to agree the selected automatic equipment with the management, and then sign a contract for the supply. Having returned back to the company, I started contacting the representatives of the equipment manufacturers by phone. A company from Germany agreed to supply bottling equipment, but asked me to come and sign the contract in person. Unfortunately I could not travel to the EU, as I did not have a visa, and the visa process would have taken at least three months. One company from China sent me a catalog of products in the mail. I chose for a long time, but I could not figure out whether the equipment can fill bottles of plastic with the allowable volume of bottles. A third manufacturer from Krasnodar listened to me and replied that he could make the equipment only six months, citing the large volume of orders. I had to refuse, since I needed the machine in the shortest possible time. The contract for the supply of antiseptic had already been signed, and we could not wait so long for automatic equipment for bottling and capping. A machine had to be found, and I realized that I couldn't do it myself. This made me a little less confident. Here, however, I was helped by the manager of company in Krasnodar, who advised me a specialist in the supply of pharmaceutical equipment which would be able to find another option of equipment. Following his advice, I contacted a specialist intermediary of a Russian company. At that time I had no idea that I was doing the right thing. The manager of the company in Moscow listened to me, asked a few questions on the material of bottles, the required productivity, the error tolerance of dosing equipment. I was pleased with his professional and business-like approach. After a preliminary consultation, he suggested two options for filling equipment which differed in the boundaries of the dosage and performance. Specialist of this company emailed a video of the proposed machine variants, which clearly demonstrates the equipment itself and its capabilities. I showed these two machines to the management, and we agreed on the line, which provides dosage from 50 milliliters to 1 liter. A week later we made a contract for automatic bottling and capping equipment. The manager asked for a sample of our bottle to test it on the machine. Before justifying the equipment, the specialist sent a video with our equipment. The equipment is controlled through an LCD screen system. The machine is covered with plastic shields to eliminate external influences on the process. The machine consisted of a conveyor belt, a bottling table, optical sensors to control the availability of bottles, a mechanical cap closing system was installed. Finished bottles had to be led away by an additional conveyor belt. After bottling, the bottles with antiseptic came to be capped with caps with sprayers. Forty days after signing the contract, we received the working equipment for bottling and capping, and after three weeks we already started fulfilling the order and delivering the antiseptic to the customer. The machine works perfectly, there were no failures in operation. Initially I was skeptical about choosing a manager, relying on my own experience, but I realized that one should always learn and not be afraid to trust a professional.